Hello students, my name is Shah Nawaz Ahmed and I'm your tutor of uh, ACCA paper taxation. The agenda of uh, this introduction, introduction session is to uh, discuss about the paper pattern, the syllabus, the study uh, guide, the syllabus requirement and how to plan this paper. So let's begin with the uh, brief tutor profile first of all. Shanawaz Ahmad is here. I am an ACCA affiliate plus having a master's degree in economics and finance. Also, I have completed my advanced diploma in management accounting and currently a SEMA finalist as well. I'm teaching the professional qualifications like ACCA, SEMA, ICAW, ICMAP and other professional qualification for the last 14 years. Currently, I'm working with Online Lecturers Academy, an online solution for professional qualification. Also a faculty of uh, the Peck College. Plus, I'm also working with a Platinum Status College in Karachi, that is the Tabani School of Accountancy also working with Gold Status College in Karachi, that is the Alhamd Academy. Currently, I'm also running a virtual institute of ACC and SEMA, which is named at Stack College. These are my area of expertise. First of all, this introduction is about taxation. So I'm teaching this subject for almost like many years and having a strong grip on taxation issues. I also teach the advanced version of this syllabus that is the ATX. Plus, I also deals with the corporate reporting and financial reporting issues that is FR and SBR and also having very much interest in financial management and advanced financial management. Now let's begin with the paper taxation. First of all, the ACCA paper from F5 to F9, that is the performance measurement till the financial management, the paper structure is quite similar, but there are minor differences. In this particular paper, we have three sections. The three hour paper comprises of three sections. First section is section A and is having 30 marks. This section comprises of 15 objective test question, 40 questions having two mark each. These 15 question will be tested from the entire syllabus. So it's very important that you should cover each and every topic of the syllabus so that you can perform better in section A. Now, as far as section B is concerned, this comprises of three OT case. Each question comprises of a case and against which five objective test question will be given to you. So it means that one question having five OT multiplied by two mark each. So the total marks of each question is 10 and 10 multiplied by three total 30 marks of these three questions. In this particular section B, normally the questions, we can spot the question from which topic the question can be asked by the examiner. Now, as far as the third section, that is the constructive response question, section C, there are three question in that section. One 10 mark question and other two question comprises of two mark, 15 marks each. The two 15 marks question will focus on topic income tax a 15 mark question is always on topic income tax other is 
on topic that is corporation tax. So we know that the 30 marks of the syllabus in section C comprises of two topics income tax and corporation tax. Now the leftover question third one that is of 10 mark examiner can create question from entire syllabus. So it would be on other topics. So as a result section A 30 marks section B 30 marks 60 marks question is on objective type question for which no working is needed no work no marks are available for working and for section C you will be provided with a response sheet which is usually Excel. So you have to produce your calculation and your theory on the response sheet available for calculation normally Excel response sheet is given and for theory if there will be any significant theory then a word processing document will be given. But in this paper the paper is more on calculation and less on theoretical aspects. But theory is important as well. Now this is the structure of the syllabus and you can see that there are six areas. The first area that is called the UK tech system and its administration. The second area deals with the income tax and national insurance contribution liabilities. This is one of the huge area of the syllabus and from which there might be around 30 to 40 percent marks. The next area deals with chargeable gain for individual. Remember that there will be chargeable gain for corporation as well. And usually there will be a 10 mark question on chargeable gain in section B. As far as the inheritance tax is concerned, there will be always a minimum 10 mark question in section B. Examiner might ask something in section C as well. Section E very much important that is corporation tax and it will be in section C a 15 mark question. Similarly, I told you that in income tax, there will be a 15 mark question from section C. And there will be a top question on value added tax. That is a minimum 10 mark question either in section B or it might be asked in section C. So you can see that the three question that will be asked in section B would most likely from CGT, chargeable gain tax, the value added tax and the inheritance tax. The value added tax and the inheritance tax, inheritance tax are quite uh, uh, small topics. So it would be a better idea to cover these small topics in such a way that you can score maximum marks. CGT is comparatively a detailed topic and uh, quite lengthy as well. Now these are the main capabilities of the student when the student cover that syllabus that is explain the operation and scope of tax system, obligation of taxpayers in their agents and the implication of non-compliance. Explain and compute the income tax liabilities of individual, the national insurance contribution on employees, employers and self-employed, the chargeable gain arising on individual, the inheritance tax liabilities of individual, the corporation tax liabilities of individual companies and group of companies, and similarly the value added tax implication for an unincorporated business and the incorporated business. So I have just break summarized the syllabus in terms of the topic. So we have income tax and following are the key areas in income tax, namely employment income, self-employment income, sole trader, partnership, property income, the basis period, tax losses, pension and tax administration. 
similarly incorporation corporate corporation tax computation tax losses group and tax administration in inheritance tax we have two issues like how to deal with lifetime gifts and how to deal with the uh, tax on death state in value added tax we have to deal with so many small issues for example registration of vat deregistration of company there are different vat schemes and administration of vat as well as input and output tax and other vat related issues in chargeable gain we have to deal with chargeable gain tax of individual chargeable gain tax for corporation how to deal with disposal of shares and securities and what type of reliefs are available for both individual and corporation now you can see that the past exam results of this particular paper is quite good you can see in june 2019 it's more than 50% which is too good in september it was almost 50% and in december it was 49% in march 2019 and 2020 the result is bit less than 50% but overall the exam result is quite good and one of the thing that makes it a good result is that the paper is mostly based on calculation but remember that the theoretical aspects are also important and the text rule the important thing is that you should know the tax rules you have to memorize the tax rules and you have to practice a lot of past papers the revision kit so that you can memorize and uh, uh, reflect the knowledge in the exam the student usually find it difficult to uh, to retain the tax rule specifically the dates and the reliefs so the advice is that regularly revise your syllabus so that you can memorize the key rules and you can produce it on the exam date so few tips about this syllabus number 1 very important cover the entire syllabus if you see the syllabus there are five topics income tax corporation tax value added tax inheritance tax and cgt and under each topic there are multiple topics so syllabus is quite lengthy but the good student always tries to cover the entire syllabus so there will be a less chances of failure similarly focus on theoretical aspects and calculation you have to do lot of calculation lot of practice of calculation called calculation based question but do remember that theory marks are also important one of the area which is uh, nowadays being more uh, asked more examined by the examiner is tax administration and usually student find it difficult tax administration there are three aspects tax administration of an individual business tax administration of corporation and tax administration of value added tax so market important focus on dates regarding the payment dates of uh, income tax payment dates of corporation iht value added tax and so and so on a important thing in exam understand the requirement of the question carefully because most of the time a student do not read the requirement well and then write something which is not relevant for the examiner A smart use of Excel is very important. Your working should be clear. The use of formulas should be legible, should be clear. You should practice uh, the entire syllabus on Excel. The basic Excel is needed. Not very detailed Excel requirement is that, but there is a customized Excel sheet that will be given to you with limited functionality. So you have to practice on the ACCA platform so that you will be aware about the. excel will be uh, that what kind of excel uh, sheet will be available and as i told you always try to complete the whole paper this advice is to with all the acc paper uh, try to just attempt each and every part of the question and 
revise text rules frequently because it's very important that you should revise all the text rules frequently otherwise there are chances that you you might forget about a very important text rule and you will not able to get the uh, passing marks so guys this was a brief uh, insight about the paper taxation the online lecturer platform is providing you the online classes with recorded lectures our course will cover the premium recorded lectures of the entire syllabus plus notes of each chapter and then there will be live weekly session so that a student can get uh, in touch with the tutor the tutor will do some practice question in the live classes plus the query classes you can connect with the tutor 24/7 through the whatsapp and other medium and at before the exam there will be a practice to pass session so that you know how to apply your knowledge in the exam i hope you find this introduction session very useful and you will follow the guidelines and that will help you to pass the paper thanks for watching this video